From what I've discovered, in order to grow effectively and efficiently on TikTok, we as creators need to be adopting that very same mindset. What's up fellow creators, it's Joseph here. During the course of this pandemic season, TikTok has had all the hallmarks of a mini gold rush, a gold rush for attention. That's the vein in the currency of the platform. There's so much opportunity and we all want a big piece of it for ourselves, but the question is how? What's the process? How do I pick a niche? What's unique about me? How can I TikTok my way to the top the fastest? When it comes to growing on social media, it truly does in nearly every case boil down to good content in front of the right people at the right time. That's the basic formula for virality. However, in today's video, I wanna give you a a couple of content hacks to spice up those growth efforts. We're going to take a look at three current TikTok growth hacks that have proven successful with specific examples. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like it down below. And without further ado, let's talk TikTok. So the first little advanced tip here is to check your followers' watch history. No, this isn't some advanced feature that allows you to spy on TikTok users' viewing history and browse every video they've interacted with. It's actually a feature in your analytics that allows you to see out of all your viewers what videos on average they've watched the most. To access this feature, go to your TikTok settings, then to analytics, then over to followers, and scroll down to the bottom of the page, and you can see there three videos that are the most common denominator between your fan base. It's such a cool feature because it allows you to tailor your content to what the majority of your followers are engaging with elsewhere on TikTok. And it's not just limited to videos. In fact, you can also see what sounds have been most popular in their feeds as well. Remember that the entire point of the platform from an algorithmic standpoint is to retain the audience as much as possible, especially with social media. That's the objective of every color, every placement of buttons, the ease of access to videos at a thumb scroll away. From what I've discovered, in order to grow effectively and efficiently on TikTok, we as creators need to be adopting that very same mindset. What content is my audience most interested in and how can I, to the best of my ability, knit and integrate those ideas into my future videos? So that being said, the takeaway here really is just to check on your followers' collective viewing history, those three videos, and consider creating something similar because objectively on the platform, that's what they're proven to engage with the most. The second little secret tip here is username clarity. Now, are there creators on TikTok that have poorly optimized usernames and still have millions of followers? The answer is yes. Will a username make or break your success? Not really. However, it is that extra 10%, that icing on the cake that will help you convert more viewers into followers. In fact, the vast majority of big creators on TikTok do have one thing in common a simple, non-punctuated username. And trust me, it does massively help. In fact, I was actually recently fortunate enough to capture a six-letter username on an account that I recently created just about a couple of days ago. And I can't tell you how many people have actually come back to watch my content after previously losing it on the For You page in the black hole of the scroll. They remembered the username and that brought them to me. In general, an ideal username will keep the following suggestions in mind. Now, I should note that these are just guidelines to help people with ease of remembrance of your username. If you have a vast fan base that you've built up with a name that perhaps is poorly optimized with multiple periods, multiple underscores, maybe a series of numbers, I wouldn't recommend changing it because the audience, the fan base that you have right now knows you for the username they found you by. So number one is fairly obvious and that is you might consider using your name or perhaps a short nickname. You might also consider using a phrase to represent your personal brand. Here are a couple examples of those. Also, no punctuation such as periods or underscores. Those tend to detract from, again, the ease of remembrance of your username. Generally, the shorter the better. You might also consider using some rhyme scheme in your username. Makeup or breakup is a great example on TikTok. If your name on the platform as a username is already taken, consider using the word the before your name or your profession, such as the lawyer, the dentist, or in my case, the Joseph Todd, which is the result of me not being able to claim my full name as a username. If you guys are looking for or want a tool that'll help you come up with great ideas for usernames on TikTok, I'll actually link a website down below in the description that generates available usernames on the platform. I've actually gotten some really, really good ones from it, very, very short ones as well. So check it out if you're interested. So our third little advanced tip today is pause games. If you've watched any of the other content on my YouTube channel here, you know that I'm not a huge fan of forcing engagement. The very best kind of follower that you can possibly attain is someone who by their own free will saw your content, was impressed by it, and followed you for it. However, a little bit of a shortcut to this are pause games, which are a great way to boost engagement and increase watch time, which is generally known as one of the most important factors for exposing your videos to larger audiences. What is a pause game? A pause game is a kind of a trend where some Something, a message is flashed on screen for a fraction of a second. In fact, users are encouraged to pause the video at the right time to read the hidden message. 
and it's certainly not easy to do so, and thus you get users re-watching your video multiple times in attempts to pause it on time. How this impacts engagement is that a lot of people will end up liking your video by accidentally double-tapping it in the process. What's important here to note is that every single little tap is a signal to TikTok's algorithm that someone is actually physically engaged with the video, thus giving it a push. These videos are typically pretty short, and I've seen a good majority of them in the eight-figure range on TikTok. We're checking 10 million plus views. So the takeaway here is to think about how you can integrate the idea of quick reactions into your videos. Maybe it's just a normal video with text bubbles that read, if you read this, have a nice day, and it's only there on screen for a split second. Or maybe it's covered up for the duration of the video with another text bubble, and there's only a microsecond where what's underneath is visible. And another idea is to mention in their video that there's a hidden message somewhere in there, whether verbally or visually. The point here is to encourage active participation in your content and not just passively watching it without engaging with it anyway. So that being said, try these ideas in your own videos of checking your followers' watch history, of clarifying your username, and of course, taking a look at how you can utilize pause games or quick reaction in your videos. Keep me updated on the process, whether in the comments below or on Instagram. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully it was a bit of a short video today. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like down below and consider subscribing to this channel if you liked what you saw and learned in these past couple of minutes together. Thanks guys for watching, and as always, we'll talk next time. Take care. Cheers.